Live from NBC 25 and serving all of mid-Michigan, this is NBC 25 News. After the riots in Baltimore, fears of excessive police force are growing. Now Michigan lawmakers are looking for ways to calm those concerns. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dave Bondi. And I'm Sadie Hughes. Thank you for joining us tonight. A bill before the state legislature is combating the use of excessive force by police officers. Well, the measure spells out what must be done to improve relationships between community members and law enforcement. NBC 25's Nikki... Sadie, well before the violence broke out in Baltimore, state lawmakers here in Michigan were working on House Bill 4466, aimed at providing a uniformed crime reporting system to curb police-involved violence. While police work to restore peace in Baltimore, a debate is surging right here at home. I've been learning since, since the first incident in Ferguson, you know, since the very initial incident. We've been talking about what we can do, what we can do, what we cannot do, uh, what partners do we need to bring to the table. And about when a police officer's response becomes illegal. I want to make sure that police agencies are reporting use of force complaints and officer involved shootings. This slippery issue prompting Representative Stephanie Chang to introduce House Bill 4466, a uniformed crime reporting system to guide officers and keep record of incidents. The public has a right to know any type of increased transparency about this type of um, conduct issue. It's just really, really important. But Senator Rick Jones of Grand Ledge says nothing should happen before a thorough investigation. We have to be very, very careful we don't jump to a conclusion. I will always support complete transparency on any police involved shooting, and it should be all public information. The proposed bill would require Michigan police agencies to report citizen complaints against officers for use of force to Michigan State Police monthly. Civil defense attorney Glenn Simmington raising questions about whether the system will be enforced if passed. It may make us feel good to know somebody's writing this stuff down, but if they're not writing it down or they're not sending in the reports, then it can't have an effect. A plan Chief Tolbert supports in the wake of Baltimore's protests. There are lessons that we can learn and we can understand and we can and we can plan because oh. now if this passes this could be in effect within 90 days reporting live in flint nikki zaza nbc 25 news